Ha! My name's Mike G. Welcome to the workshop. Today's lovely guitar is, um, <clears throat> well, I could say it's the best guitar I've built today, although it's the only guitar I finished today, so. Um, but, uh, I'm absolutely in love with this guitar, and it's, and, and I know I've said it before that I'm going to hate, um, sending off a particular guitar or whatever, but the story on this guitar is I finished this up just before band practice tonight, was stringing it up when my bandmates showed up. Um, just for fun, I went ahead and tuned it, took it into the practice studio, um, tuned it up again, and played it, and our blues-infused punkabilly, this guitar just nailed it. Of course, I'm playing through Marshall JCM 900, so, you know, revved up, rocked out, you know, punkabilly stuff, really, it sounded great. Um, but let's get to the guitar first before I continue the love fest. <laughs> Here we go. Um, the body is a um, 100 plus year old um, Spanish red cedar. It is a one piece body. One piece. You're not going to get that from Fender um, unless you want to pay a whole lot of money. Um, but this is a full inch and three quarters thick. Um, we stained it natural. We did a natural stain on it, which was sort of like a, a light oil um, stain. And you, you probably can't see it in the video, but as I turn it here in the light, there's elements across here and here that actually shimmer. It is, it is crazy. After we put uh, one coat of, uh, of the stain on it, then um, I did one, I shot it one coat of uh, clear nitrocellulose, and then I, uh, I gave it a light buffing. So it is a, a sort of a satiny finish on it. It is as thin a finish as you could possibly get and still call it a finish. Um, that's going to allow this wood to really, really breathe, and I think that's why it sounds as good as it does. Uh, the neck on here is an import fender neck. It was a strat neck, um, and on the and stamped on the heel is uh, 19.99. So it's a it's almost a vintage neck. Um, I love the way it feels. It is a nice um, C-shaped neck, not too thick, not too thin. I've got really short fingers, and you can see it fits me really, really well. Um, of course, I squared off the heel. Um, we cut the uh, Mike G Customs uh, a headstock shape into it. Um, did our logo on it. Um, then we um, shot it in nitrous, um, clear nitrocellulose um, with a little bit of an amber tint. The back of the neck, um, I sanded down to a flat finish, so it is, a, it is a satin finish on the back, but it's gloss on the fretboard, gloss on the headstock. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, tuners on this one are Fender vintage style tuners. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's, there's a bit of a theme going on here. We've got a Fender neck, we've got Fender tuners. Down here in the bridge department, we have a um, 1963 reissue Telecaster bridge and 1963 reissue Telecaster um, pickup. I think this ohm's at a 6.32 or 6.23. I think it's 6.32 uh, ohms. Um, it's got the uh, uh, the the vintage uh, saddles on here. Um, we've got a. Uh, 51 P base uh, control plate, Telecaster knobs on here, Fender strap buttons, Fender neck plate. Um, pretty much, um, as I was saying, there's a bit of a theme going on here and it's all Fender. Um, the parts on this, the pickups on this, top notch. Um, that combined with uh, the, the reclaimed Spanish red cedar one piece body, it's, it's a glorious sounding guitar. <coughs> To prove that to you, we're going to be playing through our Crate GTD 15R amp. It is a solid state amp, and if it sounds really good to you uh, on your laptop or your cell phone speakers, imagine how great um, this guitar would sound through your amp um, in your studio, in your bedroom, on the tour bus. You know what I'm saying. Um, another beautiful thing about this is because we shot this um, in, 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 in a real, real thin finish, you can still smell the cedar. We didn't, the, the, the control cavity as well as the, the pickup cavity has zero uh, finish in it. Every time you open up the case, you're going to smell the red cedar. This is, this is such a great guitar. All right, um, I know. If you love it so much, why don't you marry it, dude? All right, I'm gonna shut up. So here we're gonna do, um, as we've been doing with our single pickup guitars, um, we're going to do uh, clean and then dirty, and, and doing so, we're going to bring up the volume and give you sort of the, the various tones that are um, um, possible with this particular guitar 
um, by just raising the volume. So we're going to start out. G chord. Now running it at about half where I had it. And then all the way down. Now if you're going to use this for like a rhythm, um, what I do is I put, I put the, uh, the tone at about um, 80%. And then when you do your lead, bring it bring it up to 10, maybe 20%. Alright, so there's that. I'm gonna bring the volume back to about 20%. Now I'm gonna go over to the gain channel. I got the gain set at 75%. Sounds amazing. Um, you can switch from rhythm uh, to uh, lead by just flick, just a flick of the pinky down here at the tone knob. Um, really, I can't say enough about this guitar. It is, it, I, I know, I built it, and I'm trying to sell it. And that the reality, though, is great guitar. Um, that said, um, it's going to be on eBay. It's on eBay right now. Um, it'll most likely be gone um, within 24 hours. And if for some reason it isn't um, sold the first time around, it will sell in the second round of auctions. Don't screw around. Head over to eBay right now. It is uh, July 8th. Um, what is it, July 8th? July 8th, 2014. 
if it's July 15th, you've missed this guitar. If you want one like it, though, give us a call at the shop, 602-769-1131. I'd be more than happy to uh, put something together for you. Um, we, we build guitars with full full-blown name brand parts. We also use off-the-shelf, high-quality Korean parts. Um, we'll even take your basket, ga ca basket case project and turn it into something um, uh, um, worth way more than what you paid for it. And uh, we'll do it at a fraction of the cost. Um, that said, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, uh, please check back later for other builds and that and uh, more importantly keep your eye on us because we're getting ready to move to North Carolina so every guitar that was built in Phoenix will become our first generation guitars. Once we get set up in North Carolina it'll be like generation Mach 2.0 or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, as always, keep your feet on the ground, keep reaching for the stars. My name's Mike G. I'm out.